Hello, <laughs> welcome back to Little Old Balloons. We kind of left off of uh, getting to Act Two, getting a save file, and continuing from our potential genocide run. Although we're doing it apparently with uh, zero items. Yes, zero items. So let's continue from there. Actually, if we have zero items, that means we also don't have uh, sprint functionality, stabbing functionality, or anything. Wondering if I'll be getting a knife at some later point. Our last place got invaded by some of those creatures. They just moved in one night while we were sleeping. Boy, we were lucky that the door wasn't blocked or we'd still be there. Hmm. Also, I hear from the developer that Act 3 is very short, so I might be able to get an ending from this one episode at the very least. But I have no idea how long Act 2 is. What the fuck these things are. Possibly just mutated corpses. I forget all the controls even, like what is the run button? Can I even run with not without the shoes? There really was nothing over here except for one person to talk to. Oh, well, here we go, more rooms. Who are you? Hey, okay, never mind, dead body. And an office chair? A dead person and a suspicious symbol on the wall. A Another dead person. Does this computer work? No. Okay. That dick with the gun jumped me and my brother just a few minutes ago. He's making fun of us. That stupid mask he thinks we're playing a prank on him or something. Like, we don't believe what we believe. We're purely antagonists to him. Yeah, dude, we're the zealots here. What an asshole. In a few minutes, I'm gonna try to make my way back to our camp in the east. Maybe get this shit treated before I bleed out. Thanks for hearing me out. I'll put a good word in with the people in the camp if you ever want to visit. What? Who was even saying that? I'm so confused. Oh, wait, it was him. The dead person? I thought I talked to him and then I started moving again and... Oh, yeah. Interesting. Apparently he wasn't dead. He put in a good word for me. Kind of confusing. Another dude. Sometimes it's nice to get away from people. Everything is so high tension right now. Maybe it's best that everyone just keeps to themselves. Possibly. I mean, especially since I stabbed all the people in the previous level. Uh, that would definitely be high tension. It's like, hey, a dude with three eyes came and stabbed everyone. High tension. High tension. It's like I'm emulating what it's like to live in the UK right now. Political joke. Don't don't get butter, please. Just a little joke. Who are you? You. I don't know if you look happy or not. I haven't seen those cultists around for a while. I hope they aren't mad that I didn't go through uh, with joining. Ah, unless. Unless they're talking about the Act 1 cultists, there's just more cultists elsewhere. I, I, I did kill a lot of the cultists in uh, Act 1. Hmm. No, oh, who are you? Got a nice little coat there. Something awful happened at the cult's camp in the east. I passed through to try to get new bandages from the doctor there. The doctor's still okay, but he's got a lot of patience right now. I really, I really don't like that cult. Their stupid sermons really itch at the back of my mind, but I really hate to see that kind of violence happen to anyone. East. I mean, I came from the left, so I presume I came from the west. So I don't think they're referring to me, but maybe they are to my, referring to my actions? I was looking for treatment from the famous doctor who works in the camp across the way. Honestly, I'd feel bad asking him to treat me right now. It looks like a war zone in there. Yeah, it's a war zone in here. I'm guessing the doctor's not in this building. Clearly, it's just uh, you know, like a boiler room of some sort. Then there was no music. So, no, yeah, you, you you're dead. Okay. Weird. What if the dude with the pistol came over here and he's killing people? No, oh, hey, dead end. Never mind. It is a basement. Oh, 
Y you're the doctor? I don't trust you. I wasn't able to save any of these people. The person who did this really made sure to get the job done. Didn't necessarily shoot to kill like a pro. Sporadic shots, often nearly missing vital areas, usually shot multiple times, however. Too much for one doctor to handle at a time, unfortunately. Oh, he is talking about this dude who's a shooter. Huh, so not me. Interesting, I guess. I don't know why he's hanging the uh, cultist's head bags or whatever. But hey, let's move on. I, I'm curious as to what's going to happen if I'm going to run to the shooter again. Oh, I am. Do you have a reason to have beef in me? I know somewhere in our, your heart you agree with me. Everyone sees the terror that the pull causes. And those zealots perpetuate it. Or perpetuate it, sorry. There's a real threat here. It's not just psychological warfare. People who buy into these those sermons become abominations. They bring their friends with them. I have to kill the disease before it spreads to the people I love. You don't think I'm a monster, right? Then you understand what has to be done. I'm not even part of the religion. What? Did he shoot himself? Oh, he shot me and I fell? He shot my arm off? Why? Music's just getting worse. Well, I don't know why he shot me, though. I'm not part of the religion, so I don't know why he'd do what he did. He's just making up excuses for being genocidal? I'm not even making excuses when I'm genocidal, I just do it for the sake of uh, because and ending. Very weird. I don't know, but I'm, I'm curious as to if there's any depth to that person's character. Or he's just killing people and making an excuse of, uh, hating the religion, claiming it's bad. I mean, it was what the di the dude at the ladder said, the guy just sees everyone as an antagonist. So, maybe there is some more depth to learn about him, but who knows. Wait, I'm back here? Maybe the doctor can help me, I guess. Doctor, help me! Stupid idiot went off the chase the, to chase the killer. Not a typo. Ah, stupid. No right arm. Chest screwed up. Giving that killer the chance to finish the job. Oh, wait, someone else... Oh, the dude at the ladder, he's saying, went off to chase him? And the guy that was on the table is no longer there? Not like I was chasing the fucking killer, I was just progressing to the right of the game. And what are you doing here? Those things are moving. They appear from nothing. I don't even know if they're alive. I can't get them out of my head. I wonder where my friends are. I haven't seen many people since I moved up here to get away from the creatures below. I wonder if anyone down there figured out a better way to avoid it all. Maybe we're all that's left. I wish things were back to normal. I took things for granted then. And the dude that was there is also gone. Ew. The boiler room exploded with flesh? Unless it was something else, like a, a water pump station of sorts, I don't know. Oh, well then. This shit's just growing everywhere now. For whatever reason, there's an arrow sign pointing to go in that direction, and the wall of mass is literally right there. Alrighty then. Shit's, shit's just uh, getting a little... We could go up there, but what's in here? Hmm, nothing. 
All right. Well, let's see what's up here, I guess. Wow, it looks like I actually could have gone to this door and I hadn't. Well, when I'm doing the pacifist game where I'm not killing anyone, I'll adventure in all the rooms since I'll be more familiar with the map location and whatnot. Because as a genocidal run, there's going to be a lot of things I missed and didn't read. Nope. Well, he's just gone. And, oh, hey, it's you. You don't got anything to say? Oh, I know you would have done the same if you had gotten to them first. He speaks after I move by him. Hmm. Well, if we're going to Act 3, we're almost at the end. Yep, Act 3. So this will be one of the endings. I'm not sure. Oh, save, save the game. I remember the developer said that after I get to Act 2, there's no other save. Did they forget that that saves every act? Because I remember talking to them, they're like, oh, if you killed the save lady at the start, then there's no save, and it's a single single run playthrough. But then it's like, it saves every act. So I, there is no issue with save functionality, really. But nonetheless, Act 3, I know it's going to be short, the developer said so. And uh, I'm going to see what kind of ending I get. Why do you keep pushing forward? Do you remember what you came here to do? Could you go back if you tried? Nope. Everything's turning to shit, really. The cultists praise a shared whisper. They assume it's the voice of God. Why are they so willing to trust a God who's been silent until humanity's end? Probably the whisper of the, you know, the the flesh mass. Is this really how it's meant to be? Then why do people fear the end? Oh. I don't like where this is going. Uh, just walking in the flesh mass? Why? Oh, hello there. We speak to all who fall victim to the end, and they all ask the same few questions, if they are lucid enough to manage it. We assure them that they could have done nothing to avoid this. Oh, didn't, didn't need to say avoided, but to avoid this. It was something bigger than them that has doomed them to this fate, a transcendent force of nature, one that has plagued more worlds than this one. The killer was afraid, and they were lucky they had not heard my call, deaf to the voice of God, and their violence was met with violence. Murder perpetuates murder, and when will you be repaid in kind? No matter how you resisted our call, you ended up here, didn't you? And now you have come to terms with the fact that your sin was for nothing. You are part of the monster that the killer was afraid of. Presumably the monster you were afraid of. But we won't accept that. This fate is for the ones who deserve it. So your sins did beget a conclusion, Heaven has rejected you. Oh, so saying because I was a killer, this mass of flesh presumes themselves a god, and they literally dictate their consumption to those who are innocent versus those who are guilty. And he blames the gun shooter and this guy who I think actually chased and actually killed him then, because he's still alive. And as the doctor said, the guy with no right arm chased after the shooter to get revenge. The shooter's nowhere to be found, but he's still here, and I'm still here. So we were both rejected. To sort of live out. And I'm very thankful for Yenfly and Gal for their wide array of free plugins which I used. Shout out to all the indie game developers who inspired me, the short list being Dingling, Kikiyama, and Mason Lindroth. Special thanks to Victoria, who helped me get through dark times in the past, and who's always been a great influence. File 4. Quit title? I guess so. Well, I'm not sure which ending that is, if not bad ending or the genocide rating. The bell. Uh, maybe the developer can tell me. Um, about this right then, I'm not sure what the... Hmm. I'm gonna have to double check. I know there's like four endings and one moderately different by some form of change. 
I'm going to assume then the tiny change is going to be whether or not I communicate to the arm dude or not, where he says, I'll let them know about you. So I'm going to do a little meddling, just give me one second. Alright, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to act three without talking to the arm dude. I'm going to see what changes in the end. Because I presume that is the trigger uh, to get a semi-different bad ending. The other good ending is saving all people or saving just some. I'll have to double check with what I presumed and theorized to the developer. Alright, apparently there's already been changed, so I think I was right on the trigger. I didn't talk to the dude at the bottom of the ladder who spoke to me and said thanks, and the doctor is also not here. Proving, then, that something triggered a difference in this timeline. So we'll be getting two endings in this episode, though I'm not sure what to really refer to it. Because I know I'm going through, like, the genocide path, but the other pathway that I'm going to do in the next episode is going to be the... Let's say the uh, pacifist run. Then it means to get the two endings, I need to kill like just one person. What's this like? Say kill one person or kill few, but not all, and then kill none to get the other endings to see what happens. But I don't know. That that'll take literally two more playthroughs of this game. But I'll still do it. No worries. Oh, well, this is different. Is this what became of the dude I didn't talk to? I think so. I don't remember that mass being there. Looks like that's where the gunslinger is. Either that's the gunslinger's body or that's the dude I didn't talk to who died. Well, I'll find out if the gunslinger's at the end or if the gunslinger came here to kill the so-called god. No saving. Not necessary. So I guess we'll find out what happened to either characters. The guy with one arm, either that was him there, or that was the gunslinger. I'm sure if the gunslinger won, why do you keep pushing forward? Uh, if the gunslinger survived the battle in the ending I had gotten first, I think the gunslinger died and he wasn't able to get to the god. But the gunslinger's job, he wants to kill the god and end whatever is tied to this cultist religion that he sees it as. But if he isn't stopped by the dude with the missing right arm, he'll probably actually come to try to kill this supposed god. So if we reach there, maybe it'll be dead, or maybe the gunner will be there. Let's see. I'm curious. Hmm. We speak to all who fall victim to the end, and they... yeah, same thing. The killer was afraid. They were lucky they had not heard my call. Didn't stop this curse from affecting them, and when they realized they were becoming exactly what they feared, they succumbed to the same violence that they inflicted on others. We mourned them only because they could have been a better person. And when will you be repaid for your violence? No matter how you resisted our call, you ended up here, didn't you? And now you have come to the terms with the fact that your sin was for nothing. And you were part of the monster that the killer was afraid of. Presumably the monster you were afraid of. But we won't accept that. This fate is for the ones who deserve it. So your sins did beget a conclusion. Heaven has rejected you. And it's just me at the end. So yep. Uh, both bad endings. If we consider being assimilated in this flesh mass a good ending, that is. So, it's just the genocide endings. Multiple endings. I don't think there's any difference except for this ending image and the fact that the gunner was killed? I didn't even see the gunner afterwards, so... Was the gunner assimilated or murdered by this thing? No idea. What happens if I do the endings at the end? Is there going to be a difference? No, it's just these endings. Those are both end endings. Well, Act 1, Act 2, Act 3, and end. Kind of funny progress, but... Nonetheless, I'm going to leave it here. So both got both genocidal endings. One being a main ending, one being a small alteration to the ending. 
Uh, the next playthrough will be me going through the pacifist run, so I hope you look forward to that and you've enjoyed this ending and this genocidal run. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a full subscriber, hit that bell notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time.